Queen's Bandit is one of the best drama I've seen on Netflix last year. The best part that I actually enjoy the most is at the very beginning. Uh, the protagonist Beth, the little girl, uh, started to learn playing chess from the janitor. And if you have watched that, uh, you remember that he didn't really want to teach her, right? And so what she did was to observe how the chessboard was being played. And in fact, this is very similar to physics. The great modern physicist Richard Feynman once used the chess as an analogy to science and physics. One way it's kind of a fun analogy to try to get some idea of what we're doing and try to understand nature and is to imagine that the gods are playing some great game like chess, let's say a chess game, and you don't know the rules of the game. But you're allowed to look at the board, at least from time to time, and in a little corner, perhaps. And from these observations, you try to figure out what the rules are of the game. Uh, then uh, things can happen. Everything's going good. You've got all the laws. It looks very good. And then all of a sudden, some strange phenomenon occurs in some corner. So you begin to investigate that, to look for it. It's castling. Uh, we're always, by the way, in a fundamental physics, always trying to investigate those things in which we don't understand the conclusions. The thing that doesn't fit is the thing that's the most interesting. The part that doesn't go according to what you expected. In, also, we could have revolutions in physics after you've been noticed that the bishops maintain their color and they go along the diagonals and so on for such a long time and everybody knows that that's true. Then you suddenly discover one day in some chess game that the bishop doesn't maintain its color. It changes its color. Only later do you discover the new possibility that the bishop is captured and that a pawn went all the way down to the queen's end to produce a new bishop. That can happen, but you didn't know it. And so it's a very analogous to the way our laws are. They sometimes look positive. They keep on working and all of a sudden some little gimmick shows that they're wrong and then we have to investigate the conditions under which this bishop change of color happened and so forth and gradually learn the new rule that explains it more deeply. Unlike the chess game though, in the case of the chess game, the rules become more complicated as you go along. But in the physics, when you discover new things, it looks more simple. It appears on the whole to be more complicated because we learn about a greater experience. That is, we learn about more particles and new things. And so the laws look complicated again. But if you realize all the time what's kind of wonderful, it is as we expand our experience into wilder and wilder regions of experience, every once in a while we have these integrations in which everything is pulled together in a unification, which it turns out to be simpler than it looked before. So guess what? Let me introduce you a new game rule. Before we talk about the new game rule, we have to firstly realize one thing. For many, many years, physicists finally have identified the four fundamental forces. That means no matter what force you can think of, they eventually must be one of these categories, with no exception. So these four forces Two of them, you must know them very well. One is the gravitational force, which you have learned about the equation F equal to G M1 M2 over R squared. And the other one is called the electromagnetic force, which is also the force that you have learned about the equation that is very similar to gravitation, that is K Q1 Q2 over R squared in the simplest form. The other two forces that probably you have never heard about it before, and that is strong force and weak force. They are very hard to observe, but they take a very essential part in our nature world. In our video, we are not going to explain in details because I find uh, one of the very good video from 60 symbol, which I will put in the playlist in the next one has explain it very well. So later on, uh, please go and check it out the explanation on these four forces, mainly on strong force and weak force. But for now, let's just take the name from these four forces first. You don't have to understand the underlying meaning of it. 
And so the new game rule that I would like to introduce to you is related to strangeness that we talked about earlier. So like what I mentioned earlier, physicists like watching a chess game that you don't fully understand the game rule. And now suddenly something strange happened and you try to rule out what actually happened. And that happened to physicists as well. Uh, we find out there is something called strangeness that we might be able to, to see. They sometimes are conserved, sometimes does not conserve. And the observation, as you could find on anywhere, testable or Google, is that uh, strangeness would then be conserved in strong and electromagnetic interaction. So that means whenever there's a reaction involving strong force or electromagnetic force, uh, they strangeness this number will be conserved while for weak interaction it will be violated that means it will not be conserved so this is a new game rule remember just like when you see the pawn going to the other side and you can change the pawn to become a queen or anything you like we just observe and that's the rule we don't know why this is the root okay and it just happened in physics also we have observed something we may not be explaining exactly why from the root but we find out the pattern so again this is a new game root this is the pattern that we observed all right so here is an example for you you have given in reaction uh, which turned this one which is called sigma it is a certain hedron then turn into neutron and pion and they ask you whether or not it is through electromagnetic weak or strong interaction and so one way that you can do it is by looking at its strangeness so let's see for left hand side we have strangeness of 1s and if you go back and check out your data booklet, one strangeness is negative one. On right hand side, uh, you have neutron and neutron has no strange quad. You can go and check out the quad content. And for pion, as you can find from what is provided here, there's no strange particle as well. I mean, strange quark as well. And so that will be zero for strangeness for sure. And that means it will not be the same as the left hand side so it's not conserved it's violated and therefore you may say because strangeness is not conserved and therefore you know that it must be weak interaction and this is a very typical question in IP physics exam also.